whoever's gonna watch this. Should this man be institutionalized or what? Casimir <laughs> Sukarovsky was found murdered in his Miramar home along with two other people, Marie Rogers of Hollywood and Sharon Anderson of Miami. I've seen that tape and you can tell exactly when a life is lost. Bam. 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 Pablo Ibar. Pablo Ibar. Pablo Ibar. Sobrino del boxeador Urtain. Está acusado de tres asesinatos, pero él asegura que es inocente. I know the truth that he definitely didn't do this. He was with me. There's no way that Pablo could have done that. Alguien tenía que pagar a ese crimen. Estoy preso por un crimen que no hice. El Tribunal Supremo de Florida ha anulado la sentencia de muerte dictada contra el español Pablo Ibar. That's never happened for us. We've never covered a trial that we already covered 20 years ago. La repetición del juicio de Pablo tiene un presupuesto de 1.300.000 dólares. Es dinero, dinero y más dinero. Es mi deber, como padre, cueste lo que cueste, haya que hacer lo que haya que hacer. Pablo es inocente. He's waited long years, wrongfully convicted of a crime he didn't commit. He's not a victim, he's a murderer. Quieren soltar a Pablo, hagan la prueba de ADN, la fingerprint, ahí tienen a tu padre. Pablo es inocente completamente. Han encontrado ADN positivo de Pablo, pero ojo, parcial. So many years that they've said themselves there's no DNA matching, there's... and now all of a sudden they come with this. Tenemos todas las razones para suponer que ese ADN sea una contaminación. The police collected evidence from Pablo's home. That contamination could have happened there. The only question here is, is that Pablo? Did you answer that under oath? I guess I answered it under oath. You came into a courtroom, raised your right hand, swore to the oath, looked at a jury, and lied to them. Yes, I did. And what are you saying? You change your testimony every time? Now take him out of the courtroom. This is not fair, Mr. Lord. We're the fucking lawyers. This is our case. And I like Pablo, but you know, I'm not having somebody tell me what to do. I've been doing this forever. You let me finish my fucking sentence. Start saying to yourself, I'm innocent. That's not me. I want Pablo to go home to his family. I want the torture for the families of the victims to end. It ends if he's found not guilty. It ends for everybody. One of the jurors called Judge Bailey and told him he regrets the decision that they made. Holy shit. This case has been something made for motion pictures, except that these are real people.